by falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. Anthony Davidson, could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. Judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Bottas, Daniel Ricciardo, and Perez, Grosjean, Ocon, Massa, and Max Verstappen. A Haas, Sainz, Nico Hülkenberg, and Kvyat, Palmer, Alonso, Stoffel van Dorn, and Marcus Ericsson. Their line and Lance Stroll rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track.
So, another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. So, Ant, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. So as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. It's yet more silverware to take back to their base in Brackley after another excellent Grand Prix. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader and their advantage at the top has been reduced. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? I'd say Max Verstappen earns that title today. Opportunistic, I think is the word. It's something he's become known for during his short career so far and it's served him well here. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. Another team that excelled today was Williams, who make further progress up the table. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Ant and I, it's goodbye, and see you again next time.